guys and welcome back to my channel this video is going to be the single mother's tag there's 15 questions it was created by Shay over on the ginger mommy I will put her link in the description box down below so let's go ahead and get started. I have one child a little boy oh he's not a little boy he's a young man and he's 18 years I have old. been single mother for 18 years going on 19 next I do month. odds and ends um, from home um, because of my health being the way that it, it is I cannot leave and work outside of the home for right now um but i do stuff on the on the computer i do um between youtube and my blog and stuff and then some other stuff i help with um web designs for people you know and blog designs and i budget like my that. money very very closely i am a stickler i am a penny pincher um sometimes i'll splurge on things you know um i make a list I think of as far as grocery shopping, for example, um, I do a lot of my shopping at Sam's Club because of the fact that I can buy in bulk and I buy in bulk of what we use most and what I know won't be wasted because it's cheaper. At Sam's, I can get um, about 12 to 13 bananas for about $1.89 to where they're 98 cents a pound or a dollar something a pound close to a dollar a pound at Walmart and you're only getting like five so it's it's all in what we consume how much we consume stuff like that um, I cut back on a lot of stuff I don't have cable I use the internet for everything we have a Roku and so I use that for our Netflix and all our TV programming and stuff um, so basically my only bills are my rent my electric and um, internet for the most part um, and Netflix. my son is much older he's quite independent um, so I get a lot of my time is to myself um, my son is in college so he's doing his thing he goes off to school I mean yes we have our time you know we'll go shopping we'll go out to dinner um, but as far as when he's home he's home he's to himself I'm to myself it's just me and my cats um, so if you ever see hear me on social media or anything referring to the girls it's you know it's my cats um, uh, he's in his room he does his homework he plays on his computer he reads he draws um, I do find sometimes where I'll tell him, unless your eyeballs are bleeding, do not disturb me. Um, I need some me time. And what that means is I'm going into my room, I close my door, I turn the music on, I light candles if I want to, um, I'll run a bath, I'll put my iPad up on the shelf and I'll watch a movie and just soak and just The relax. hardest part... The hardest part about being a single mother, I would have to say, was during that, I guess, puberty stage. You know, there's just certain things that I kind of struggle with, you know, um, only because if you watch my videos or if you follow me on social media, you know, my son has Asperger's, he, you know, um, so he is on the spectrum and he's got all this other stuff wrong with him and so it was just a crucial time the hardest part you know and was trying to help him understand certain things on that level as a for a man you know if that makes i would sense. say the most every i mean just being a mother in general is rewarding you know watching him laugh seeing all his accomplishments um, all his, you know, everything that he succeeded in, all the boundaries he's overcome, everything, just everything is just rewarding. I, I, I yes, think. I currently am. In fact, yesterday, um, on the 27th, we just celebrated our two year anniversary. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, he is my best friend. Um, I love him a lot. I have my alarm set for 7.30 in the morning, which is 30 minutes after my son gets up. He's around 9.30 p.m. between 9.30 and 9.45. Um, I take my medication and it does make me drowsy. 
So I will um, take it about 30 minutes to an hour before I'm ready to actually go to sleep. So usually about 9.30, 9.45. I'll take it by about 10.30. I, I don't spend a lot out. of time with my son. Um, it's not me, It's and it's not him. It's just an understanding that we have with each other. My son, he's got a bubble. You know, some people may understand, some won't. But he's got a bubble. He doesn't like anyone to walk within the boundaries of his bubble unless he gives you permission him, him being older he's all he does his own thing he likes to watch certain programs um than i do um he likes to draw he likes to do that but he when he's done doing what he's doing or when he discovers something or acknowledges anything he loves to come and tell me and we sit down I've and talk about it. I've had plenty of help over the years, but for the most part, it has been me, just me by myself. Dating this one guy when my son was younger and his mom had a home daycare. And so um, they helped me out a lot. They went above and beyond to help me out. Um, but things, because they didn't see it as another kid at a daycare. It was, oh, bring grandbaby over. Bring my grandbaby over. You know, my brother helped out a lot. My brother was always coming over on the weekends, you know, or when he had free time, he's like, hey, can I come get my nephew? And then it was like my dad. And then I've had guy friends and every, you know, that were like really close to me, you know. And so it was like Uncle Jamar and Uncle Rob and all these people that, you know, he kind of grew around, you know, and that were really good friends of mine and their families kind of embraced him as a family relative that makes sense um then my mom's um boyfriend came along and um he helped out a lot during like the puberty stage that is when i struggled the most and i was like i, t I was like steven look <laughs> This is your department. I need your help, you know. So he stepped up and he helped. Or he didn't have to step up, but he just, you know, helped out with too. that aspect. Um, when my son's in class, I can easily film. But it's just a matter of getting back on schedule. Um, I've had, I'm on new medication, so my health was down. And it's like I would film video, but then I wouldn't get the strength or the energy to get out of bed to come film. I mean, to um, edit those videos, you know. And then there's videos I've edited, but then when I won, I was like, no, I didn't like how it turned out. This year, I do plan on trying to stay on track and get on schedule. I have a notebook right here with ideas and video scenarios that I want to get started Yes, on. my son knows I'm a single mom, and yes, he's questioning it. He's never asked, like, where's daddy? Why aren't you with daddy? None of that stuff. But he's always asked, why don't you go on a date? You need to go on a date. You need to get out. You need to find a man. <laughs> That's just his scenario. He's like, why don't you go out and just meet someone, you know, have fun, have, find friends, you know. <laughs> My son used to say that. He's like, just get out and just go, mom. First thing a lot go. of people think is, I, I'm, in my opinion, um, is, oh, you're divorced. You know, um, they think I'm divorced. They, um, they think I'm one of those, um, low down mothers that live in the hood and that, and collects welfare every month. Um, I'm, you know, living off the system. Um, a single mother is no walk in the park, but you know what? I regret nothing. I'd rather be single and be happy than be with someone and be miserable. Um, I love every moment of it. I have no regrets. My son is my world. Um, I cherish every moment that I have with him. I love and honor every accomplishment that he's done. He has overstepped everything. That is all the questions for the single mom mother tag. I will leave all the questions down below in the description box. Um, and with the link to Shay's channel, The Ginger Mommy. And um, like I said, go check out her video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.